guys welcome back to another married at first sight review and guys i have to say i'm so disappointed in Paige. Paige had us fooled all last week and now just when we thought she had it all together she reverts back to the same old page so guys stay tuned we're gonna talk more about this so before we get started, please be sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Also check us out on Instagram at Sisters Talk TV. So let's go ahead and get started with the review. So a couple things happen this episode. We get more into Clara and Ryan's marriage. And I honestly have to say, this is really not going to work out. Clara is just not as driven as Ryan is. Ryan has like an internal drive and that's what he's asking Clara. And Clara's just not as driven. And this proved, um, especially when they were at the donut shop. So Ryan, so Clara told Ryan, of course she likes donuts. She likes like her, her love language is being physical and is showing um, expression and also um you know like things like like the small things things like you know paying attention to what she says so those are some things that ryan picked up on so he decided to take her out on a donut date and they had all kinds of donut and claire claire was just like in heaven like yes this is like all i need i love donuts and as she was eating them, you know, Ryan had a few bites and stuff, and he just kind of was over it because he's a visit, um, he's a fitness enthusiast, so he's not really into all the junk food. And Clara's like, she's just, this is like in her lane. She loves donuts. So as they were talking, Ryan is just trying to get to learn a little bit more about Clara. Like, what is her drive? Like, why does she like what 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 drives her every day? Like, what pushes her every day? She's just like. Well, you know, um, I just have to pay my bills and stuff, and that's why I push, and that's why I go to work. She just wants to pay her bills. And I guess that's really not the answer that Ryan is looking for. Ryan was like, you know, something in him pushes him every day. Like, he has like an internal drive that just pushes him, wants him to do better. So, you know, um, Claire was just like, you know, she feels like she is in a motivational speech like a class and Ryan is you know I and he's it looks like it, you can just see it all in his face he's just so disappointed in Clara and you can just tell like he just probably during decision day he's probably just he's probably gonna want a split or a divorce like I don't see them moving far um do I and I also don't see Ryan I don't think that he's as into Claire as Claire is into him I mentioned that last week in my review you could just tell I know um they were saying that Ryan and Clara may be the first interracial or one of the few interracial marriages that they ha they has they have had on Married at First Sight so I think it's really interesting I don't know like what Ryan put on his application for them to match him up with Clara, but they are really opposite. I never realized how much opposite. I like I never realized how different they were because during like the marriage um, episodes and stuff, I was like, oh, you know, like I can see them working out. But I didn't realize Ryan was so just so stringent with his routine. Like I never realized that. But yeah, interesting. So then we also have Vincent and Brianna, guys. It's once again, my favorite couple, Vincent and Brianna. Vincent surprises Brianna with a bike. I think that was really sweet because Brianna, during their wedding, she mentioned, she mentioned to him that she really wants a bike because Vincent was like, you know, he rides his bike and stuff. And Brianna was like, you know, she really wants a bike. So he surprises her with the bike. And he's also teaching her Spanish. So every day he's going to have a new Spanish word up for her, for her to learn because he really, he sees Brianna as, someone he really wants to be with long term so during like family activities he wants Brianna to like 
hang out with him to feel comfortable. So he really wants to teach her Spanish and wants her to learn how to speak Spanish. And that speaks volume. You can definitely tell that Vincent is really put it in the in, like put it being very thoughtful um, towards Brianna. He really wants. He sees her in his family, part of his family long term. And that's one thing that really sets the, this couple, these couples aside, Vincent and Brianna, um, compared to like a, a Chris and Paige or like an Erica and Virginia. It's like, they are really, you know, they, although they have their little rifts, kind of um, like a little argument towards the beginning, disagreement, we see that Vincent, he can be a little sensitive, and Brianna just has a really good sense of humor. They talked about it, they discussed it, they, you know, had an argument about it, and then now they're slowly, you know, learning each other, which is really, really good. I do see them really uh, making it very, very far. And I see them um, lasting and staying married. So then we also get um, a couple of the guys and some of the girls. They all come to Jacob's house. And, you know, Jacob is giving them a, a tour. And Jacob's house is really actually cool. Like, he has his own home gym, his own sauna. So he really put a lot um, of thought in his home and it really shows like you know especially like his character and stuff like he has a dance floor so I, I think his home is really cool Jacob has a lot of actually person he has a lot of personality and everyone seems to really like his house like Eric was really fascinated with the sauna the home gym and I think he said he even built it a lot of this stuff on his own so it shows that Jacob is very candy crafty um creative at that so that's really cool that he was able to come up with all of this um things that he has in his home so pretty much he has kind of his own like mini resort gym kind of thing situation going on so yeah um okay so the biggest scene on this up in this episode was chris and Paige. so Paige, obviously earlier on the scene she meets with pastor Okay, she meets she meets with one of Chris's pastor friends that was on the wedding um, episode, and that uh, yeah, I think he was yeah one of Chris. He was on the he was on that episode. Yeah, he was one of Chris's pastor friends, and he's you know telling her, um, telling Paige how he's super disappointed in Chris, how Chris treated her, and he just was not in support of that. He talked to Chris, and Chris is pretty much just not listening to anyone. Chris just thinks everything he's doing is just right. He's just not listening at all. So Paige, you know, she's like, you know, um, talking to him and stuff. And, you know, they're getting a better understanding of, like, why Chris is the way he is. So then towards the end of the episode, Chris and Paige, well, Paige, Chris calls Paige and she is asking like, he's asking Paige, like, we need to meet up. And Paige, she's a little bit hesitant because during the, when they were all at Jacob's house, she's telling the other ladies, like, you know, hey, she was done with Chris, but plot twist, Chris wants them to meet up. So, Chris and Paige end up meeting up. Paige was so annoyed. She had an attitude. She's like, well, what am I doing here? Because I feel like you are wasting my time. And then the producers come in, and while Paige is trying to walk away, they're like, well, hear her, hear him out. Why should Paige hear Chris out after all, after everything Chris put her through? Meeting with his baby mom. Of course, that didn't go the way he planned. He wanted the two ladies to argue. That didn't go so well for him. So why should Chris, how why should Paige meet with Chris after everything Chris has put her through? And this is really like that's that was really annoying that the producers even did that because it was just not right. Like I did not understand why they even did that. But so Paige comes back to the scene. She's talking to Chris, and Chris is like, you know, I'm really sorry that you know this happened. I really wish that I just felt like. Just just being pretty much being the victim, re-victimizing himself. He didn't appreciate with his friend that the pastor meeting up with Paige without his knowledge. Why does everyone have to tell like Chris just feels like uh, everyone owes him something? You know, he he all he finds a way to consistently re-victimize himself or victimize himself while he's not even the actual victim. Paige is the victim. So Paige, she did, I don't know, like just one thing Chris says, he apologizes to her. Paige is obviously taken, 
him back. And she's like, well, I really wanted to work. And Paige, Chris was like, well, let's go ahead and start over. Hi, my name is Chris. Hi, my name is Paige. And they just want to rebuild their relationship. I'm just like, Paige, you are doing such a good job. Why are you doing this, Paige? Paige. Page, page, page. Like I'm really trying to, you know, I'm siding. I'm here with you, Page. I'm trying to side with you, Page. Like I'm, like Page. Why? All you just have to say was that you you did such a good job when you said deuces the first time, and now you got swayed by the producers to meet back up with Chris, and then you're going. He's gonna re-victimize you. <sighs> I was, I was like, I was scratching my head because I'm just like, Paige, why? Why? I really wanted to throw my TV after watching this scene with Paige and, with Paige and Chris. Anyways, guys, that is about the end of this review. I'm so disappointed in Paige. Why, Paige? Let me know what you guys think. What did you guys think of Paige's, Paige's action? Were you, were you kind of proud of her in the beginning when she just said deuces to Chris? Like, you are really wasting my time. And then all of a sudden, like, what happened to Paige? Guys, uh, so disappointed. But I think I'm going to head, go, I'm going to um, go ahead and end this review. Thank you guys so much. Please be sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Also check us out on our other videos and our Instagram at Sisters Talk TV. Leave a comment. Let us know what you think about this review. Peace, love, and blessings.